So basically, I start off by laying out all of my materials. Any books I want to use, I order from the library. Most things start in my binder and then I transfer them over into my computers and devices to help me stay on track. So I have my planner sheets and I basically just have a, a homeschool field trip planner, um, a unit design board which is what I use every time. It's just my little artistic way of mapping out what I have in my head. And then I have a homeschool specials design board. And I have my homeschool weekly planner my unit planner so on my unit planner i basically just have um sight sight words spelling words any books and movies we're going to cover um any activities and list of field trips our numbers of the unit our letters of the unit that type of deal our, our verses that i want us to cover I grab my little planner sheets I grab all of my materials i grab my computer and pinterest is my friend I just use the other curriculum pieces that I have as a basic curriculum we use time for learning and I really love that because even though I pretty much build my curriculum as we go um, it really gives me the peace of mind that I'm at the least following the basics so and it really is helpful because if I'm having off days or a lot going on which lately um, has been happening I can always log them on and have them reviewed so uh, let's plan so the first thing I start off with is my unit design board and I'm a very visual person so it basically looks like this my objective what the theme is and this is my spot this little box right here for me to just jot down all of my ideas any supplies that I need I normally list over here so that I can be sure to pick them up at the store the next page I normally fill out is my homeschool specials design board and it's basically the same as my design board but it's specifically for anything that I want to add to the unit. So sometimes it goes along with the unit, sometimes it doesn't. So in this case, it actually does go along with the unit. I normally like to include bits of information that are just really a challenge for them. I've noticed that they're able to grasp a lot more complicated concepts than I give them credit for. So I figured we would just go ahead and talk about the plant cell. So then I move on to my unit planner. Basically just include any sight and spelling words, any letters that I want to focus on, numbers that I want to focus on, um, any books and movies that I want us to watch. I list um, any activities and field trips. The second page of my unit planner, I just uh, include uh, every two weeks on Monday, I like to have like a Monday mail day. And so on mail day, I list the type of mail we want to try and send and to whom we want to try and send it. Grandparent letters, other family members, new friend. A lot of times they're letters. Sometimes it's um, art and care packages and things like that. So, and then work boxes. So I'll just make a rough list of some of the things that I would like to include in their work boxes for the unit. For example, um, one of the books that I have on my book list is this Yucky Worms book. Along with the book, I thought we could take our little bug kit and our magnifying glass and kind of go out to see if we can collect some worms. This is one of the items that I would include inside of their work boxes with a little instruction a page so they can kind of explore on their own. I have ideas all the time and if I don't write them down um, I'll have those moments where I get flustered and I'm like what in the world am I doing right now? So whenever I feel like that, I see what I've written down and what I've planned out, and I just say, Serena, you had that idea, that's an awesome idea. Pop this in the work box and keep it moving. For my event planner, it basically looks like this. I have a section for um, our trip schedule. So I wanna map out what, what it is that we're going to be doing, when are we gonna eat lunch, things we want to accomplish while we're there. I just make sure I have an actual schedule 
So this helps me give myself a little bit more direction to the day when we take field trips. And then I have a little checklist. Um, did I set the date? Did I order the tickets or passes or whatever? Um, packing the car, packing lunches and snacks. That I pack medicines because that's kind of a big deal when you have food allergies and all that other stuff. Um, did I pack their book bags? Um, so normally in their book bags, I just include their notebook, sometimes their iPad, depending on where we're going, and um, colored pencils, pencils because sometimes they can get pretty particular about the way they journal or notebook. I always want to have those things available just in case they want to. Um, explore things in a different way so like Cameron likes to have his magnifying glass in his book bag so that when we're out he can get a close-up look of I don't know the bug on the ground or <laughs> whatever else so um and then camera this is so necessary for me because it's something that I will definitely overlook and let a month go by without having an actual field trip. And this helps me take it more seriously and actually get it done. This is my homeschool weekly planner. And it's just separated by day and then by subject so that I can see at a glance what we should be working on each day. So for Monday for Bible, I put the scripture we're working on, um, eggs, polywogs, and frogs. For reading and writing, we're doing frog and toad chapter books and um, the unit vocabulary. For science, we're doing the life cycle of a frog and frog versus toad. Social studies, we're talking about kindness and friends. So after I finish these pages, I actually transfer this into um, the computer before I will go in and input what is scheduled for the next day into our Evernote notebooks. And then when we're on that day, I go in and add photographs and add any notes. Normally when I finish up my um, unit design board, most of the stuff that ends up being on here goes straight to my board. Now this one I actually did myself but normally Brian will illustrate for me because he's better than me. And basically everything that I wrote on there ends up on this board. As far as Savannah is concerned, I try to grab a few things from the curriculum we try and follow for her, which is Learn With Homer. So I'll go through that program and I will look for any of the lessons or songs or activities that lend itself to our unit. Sometimes I don't get around to them but I just like to have them listed so that when I if I get stuck somewhere I can go straight to um, the website and just go straight to those particular activities and I do the same thing with the boys so for Savannah um, I pull from learn with Homer and then for Kendall and Cameron I pull from um, time for learning it just gives me another option um, I'm very loose with the schedule I like to put them into my computer because it makes it very easy for me to move things around if I need to because it almost always changes but at least I know that my activities are listed and if I exchange one for the other, I know it's still alive and kicking and ready for us to get into. I do use um, printables off of the internet and I have some printables that help me with the life cycle of a frog. Cut these out, laminate them, and include them in our folder games for the unit study to go along with the water cycle. So I think I pretty much covered everything. Yeah, that's how I plan. <laughs> and now that everything is done, I pretty much just put all my folder games together. I put all my resources in one um, drawer inside of our classroom so that it's all in one space so I can just pull from when I'm ready. I take my planning pages and I put them right at the top, right in front of my binder. And then I pack all my stuff up <laughs> and I'm done.
hope you enjoyed this planning video i hope to do more like this it definitely gives me some accountability to make sure that i complete this process which makes for a much more successful unit of study if i keep these planner videos rolling then it helps me thanks for watching you guys